My name is Robert Dudley. I'm a professor of integrative biology here at the University of California, Berkeley. So I'm interested in how animals work, how they evolved, and what they're doing in natural environments. I do a lot of field work in the tropics, so I see a lot of animals in tropical rainforests, and oftentimes they're moving about looking for something to eat. As a consequence of seeing all these animals and of occasionally drinking myself when in tropical environments, just wondered, what is it about alcohol? Where does it come from? What's our natural historical pattern of exposure? And what motivates excessive drinking? The argument of the drunken monkey is that we are interested in alcohol because we have evolved as fruit-eating primates, and alcohol is found naturally in fruit within tropical environments. And we, we like to drink because we have positive feelings when we drink alcohol that historically would have been beneficial when we could only eat ripe fruit, but now, of course, things can go badly wrong when we have unlimited access to high, high volume, high concentration alcohol. So where does alcohol come from anyway? So it turns out the yeasts produce alcohol. They ferment sugars and produce carbon dioxide in the alcohol molecule. And yeast spores are everywhere. They're landing on fruit. They're landing on flowers even before the flowers turn into fruit, and they encapsulate themselves into a developing fruit tissue. So yeasts are everywhere. Sugars are within fruit. Yeast ferment sugar, produce alcohol, primates and monkeys and our ancestors go to the alcohol. So the hypothesis suggests that they are preferentially selecting fruits that have a fairly high alcohol content. We have inherited an ancestral bias that associates alcohol with nutritional reward. We forage for fruits in the jungle and in the concrete jungle we go down the supermarket aisle and pick up alcohol. My father was an alcoholic, and I've always had an intense personal interest in the, uh, this question as to what, what are the origins of self-destructive behavior. The one goal of the drunken monkey hypothesis, of course, is to facilitate research, basic research into the biology of alcohol exposure. And ultimately, we would all love to have a really straightforward explanation and, of course, cure for this disease.